Hey gang, it's your old buddy Dave here in the basement funhouse, here in the basement workshop. Today, working on this OLED display that you're seeing right here. I got it off of eBay, which I will show you uh, exactly what it is. It is this. It is the new blue 1.3 inch IIC I2C serial 128 by 64 OLED LCD LED display module for Arduino and it's this and as you can see right there it says that it's I2C however it's my understanding from what I've read and I'm all new to this by the way that I squared C is like a five wire protocol um, four if you're not counting reset, but I think reset's typically counted. And this guy here has seven pins. And oh. since, since you can't see it, they say v, uh, ground VCC D0, D1, RES, DC, and CS. And I've been trying off and on all day today to get it to work. I downloaded the Adafruit 1306 uh, display um, uh, library off of GitHub, and that's not this um, file. Examples... Uh, Trackpads aren't the greatest. And there you have it. Adafruit SSD 1306. And there are two I2C examples and two SPI examples. Um, each one has a 30, uh, 128 by 32 example, and each one has a 128 by 64 example. Uh, since this is supposed to be a 128 by 64, that's what I've been going at and that going with. And all day the screen has looked exactly like this, blank. Um, I tried different wiring things. Ultimately, I decided forget I squared C for this. It looks like an SPI device since it's got the seven. So that's what I ultimately decided to go with, but since this is a, another fine product from China, and it was uh, fairly inexpensive, um, I didn't have a data sheet for it. However, typing in all those abbreviations into, into Google, I came across this form for hobbycomponents.com, and it gives me the pinout where um, it and tells me what each of those are, because, like I said, I'm new to this. And going to uh, learn.adafruit.com slash monochrome dash OLED slash breakouts slash wiring dash one DOT dash three dash 128x64 took me to this page and tells how to hook up there LED display for both I squared C and SPI. And I went down to the SPI. And when I took, uh, I cross referenced what I saw in Hobby Components versus what I saw in the Adafruit Learning site, they have gr um, ground going to ground, uh, VIN going to 5 volts, data going to digital 9, clock going to digital 10, DC to digital 11, RST to digital 13, CS to digital 12. I matched all those up with uh, with what I had um, from the um, from the Hobby Components site and hang on, much to my surprise, I'm some power here. 
I didn't bother to get the tripod out. I got this. And if you can't see very closely, that's a fine example of garbage. But hey, I didn't, hadn't gotten anything all day. It had been a blank screen. And if I look, if I like watch this for a while, I've noticed that some of the things you've seen, like those lines across the top, and occasionally you'll see some stars, those are all part of the Adafruit um, example that comes out looking right. So I have no idea what's going on now. Um, something in the code, I suspect. I suspect that the wiring is all correct now. This is the wiring. I've got running off a 9-volt battery at the moment earlier. I had it on, uh, on the USB for power and also for uploading the program. But, uh, yeah, that's all the wiring, such as it is. Just with jumpers. So I have no clue what to do. Um, I'm going to have to study the code. The code is uh, the um, 128 by 64 example out of the Adafruit uh, library. And also of note, in case anybody really cares, if you do have the 128 by 32, you have to go into the um, Adafruit underscore SSD 3601.h um, uh, code. And there's a couple lines here. You, you comment out with two slashes um, the ones you don't want and the one that you do want for the exact size and your pound defined. Um, you leave that in, then since that's defined, there's code further down, which sets up things to work right. So, um, something to take note of there. But in the Arduino IDE, um, like I say, I'm using the SSD1 30, or SSD1306 underscore 128 by 64.spi right now. So, I'm going to have to look through that, see what's going on. I suspect it's something to do with the clock. Whoa, out of focus, out of focus. Let's look at something else. Let's look at that. Back in focus. I guess it's too bright. So, anyway. That's what's, um, that's what I've got. If you have any ideas, please uh, leave a comment. Please click on the subscribe button. And uh, stay tuned for more. I do more than besides just Arduinos. Uh, working on pinball machines and some arcade uh, machines. So... Anyway, that's what I'm up against right now, and any uh, comments would be appreciated. Any constructive comments, how's that? So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.